Welcome to Dynamic Tennis Method. Today I'm going to show you how to hit a perfect topspin forehand ground stroke in just three simple words. Tip, skip, and whip. The tip refers to the take back of your racket. And as you can see, I'm not bringing it back very far. Bringing the racket back too far will restrict your mobility as well as your swing path. To get into this perfect position like this, imagine there's a light at the end of your racket strings and you're simply shining the light to your right. The second word, skip, refers to a shuffle step. Now many people think of the shuffle step as just a recovery step back to the center of the court, but it's actually great for initiating your swing as well as augmenting its power. Now when you shuffle step, you'll notice that you'll float in the air for a moment. You'll then allow the racket to drop with gravity, at which point your legs will augment the power. The effect is similar to being in a swing set when you pump your legs rhythmically to increase the power. The final word, whip, is the moment of contact between your racket and the ball, and it's done with your wrist. The action of a good whip is very similar to the way you might try to bat the hat off of somebody's head. Normally, you wouldn't want to use your wrist to accelerate the racket, especially if it's in a static position, because the weight of the racket's far too heavy. However, by releasing the racket and letting it drop with gravity, the initial work to accelerate the racket is already done, and so you have a much lighter racket to then whip through. Let me show you how to do the stroke for yourself. The first step is to do something called a shadow stroke. It's simply when you take the stroke without a ball. It's important that when you do the stroke, you don't do it in slow motion, because that creates tension and you lose your connection to gravity. Likewise, you don't want to force the motion either. It's very important that every step is done very relaxed and with a good sense of gravity. The next step is to try it with a self-feed. Now this is really where the magic of DTM shows itself. You see, there's a principle known as the gravitational constant. And what it means is that all objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate. By synchronizing each one of my motions with a part of the ball's flight path, I can actually get in sync with the ball and allow the racket and the ball to literally fall into each other, resulting in perfect timing with absolutely no effort. So, the tip of my racket synchronizes with the toss of the ball. My shuffle step coincides with the ball's bounce. By shuffling with the ball's bounce and releasing my racket, I initiate what's called the mutual float. This is when the racket and the ball float at approximately the same level, allowing them to accelerate into each other's flight paths. When I whip, I can simply finish that process with my wrist for a perfect forehand. Tip, skip, whip. It's important that when you toss the ball to yourself, you do it in a way that'll complement your stroke. Float the ball in front of you so that you can also float or shuffle along with the ball. Try hitting the ball on the fall after the bounce. Once you get the hang of it, you can try it with a partner or a coach, progressively moving further and further away to a controlled rally. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to hit two more kinds of shots with the exact same technique. I hope you come and join us. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.